I'm saying we're not we're not here to slander them. We're not here to to hurt them in any way. Um, we're grieved because Jesus is grieved, and what we can do for them is we can pray for them. But uh, while you're praying for them, don't forget to rise up and stand forth, okay? Because you're going to receive your healing. Because you're going to be able to minister healing. So you need to rise up and you need to stand forth even though these people are all around you, okay? And then uh, what happened next is uh, Jesus said unto the man, Hey, stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. And the man stretched forth his right hand, and it was made every bit as whole as the other. His hand was completely healed. His physical right hand, his right hand that symbolized strength and authority and power, was completely healed and completely restored in the midst of of all of this unbelief in the midst of these scribes and Pharisees that were coming to accuse him and trying to prevent him from getting in the kingdom of God and trying to prevent him from receiving his miracle, um, his hand was healed. He was restored. So I'm telling you, no matter where you are, you know, God can restore you right here, right now. So stand up, rise up and stand forth and, you know, stretch forth your hand and be healed. Stretch forth your strength and your authority that God has already given you. Come to know who you are in Christ and speak that authority. The Word of God says we believe and therefore we speak, okay? That means you got to believe in your heart first, but then you speak and you're using your authority and uh, we got to have faith, you know? We got to... We have to have the power of God. We've got to have the gospel. And the gospel is the power of God. We've got to understand what happened in the death and the burial and the resurrection of, of Jesus Christ. And um, it, it's good stuff. And you would think that in this moment when there was this great physical healing, when his hand was just, he stretched it forth and it was completely healed and restored, that everybody would be raising their hands to God and praising God and giving God the glory because my gosh, a physical miracle just manifested right before your eyes, right before their eyes. But uh, that's not what the scriptures say happens. Let's look here in uh, Luke chapter 6 and verse, um, verse 11, and it says, And they were filled with madness and communed one with another what they might do to Jesus. My goodness, that's what a hard heart will do. It'll just deny the miracle and uh, seek to kill Jesus. And uh, we got to be careful today about when we see physical miracles in front of our eyes and when somebody's given a testimony, um, we, we need to be quick to believe that God is who He says He is and that uh, God heals today and not be filled with this madness and this vexation and this anger and, and not try to, to stop other men from entering into the kingdom of God. And um, in uh, Mark chapter 3 and verse 6 is the end here. It says, And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him how they might destroy him. So God sent his word and it healed you. And there are religious people today that are going to be um, trying to stop you from receiving your healing. But just like this man, the Lord would say to you, rise up and stand forth, okay? Rise up and stand forth and don't let these people talk you out of your healing. Don't let them tell you that the Word of God doesn't work. Don't let them tell you that the power of God isn't for you. Um, just know and believe the Word. Okay, we saw what the Word had to say about them. Um, if you've you got people saying that, pray for them, okay? Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. Pray that God will open their eyes. Pray that they will see and know and come to intimately understand this amazing gospel and the power of God. And, and uh, in the meantime, while you're praying for them, rise up and stand forth and stretch forth your hand and be healed because it is God's will to heal you. And uh, if you just 
you know, meditate on these healing scriptures and watch this again if you need to. Find some other healing videos or something that you need. Some good teaching on healing. Get into the scriptures and just meditate on these miracles and ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do I need to see? You know, remember it's here and be healed. Hear the word of God and be healed because it's the word of God that is life to all of your flesh. It's health to all of your flesh. It's life to those who find him find them in health to your flesh. It's the word that God sent that has healed us. It's the word that has delivered us from our destruction. And it's the word that's going to bring this life. And Jesus says, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So that's, um, that's the lesson that we had for today. So you should be just about ready to join us next week. And that is very exciting. So I'm going to pray with you and uh, I'm going to say goodbye. So Father, thank you for all those who are watching this video, Lord. We trust your word that it has worked, that it has healed them, Lord. And we thank you for physical manifestations of healings in the name of Jesus, that people will receive sight, that cancers will be dissolved or fall off in the name of Jesus, that leukemia will bow to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for knees healed and backs healed and bronchial tubes healed and hearts healed and mental disease healed. God, thank you, Lord, that people are healed and restored from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord. And thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are restoring people's um, strength and their authority and their power. That is the gospel, Lord, that you're restoring that unto them, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you have a testimony, if this video has blessed you or if you've been healed, I really want to hear about it. My email address is Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y, and then the little at symbol, lfmi.net. That stands for Life Fellowship Ministries International.net. So lfmi.net. Um, send me an email. Let me know that God healed you, and I will rejoice with you, and we'll praise God together. Amen.